on the surface, you look at this right here and you think, I have a lot of questions. There's a lot of confusion right here. But if you've actually been paying attention to the entertainment industry for the last few years, then you understand that the people in charge simply view black people and minorities as people that can't accomplish anything on their own. So they have to have the great white saviors, the great white left wing saviors reach down and and help them because they aren't capable of themselves. That's what the far left. That's what Hollywood. That's what the mainstream and big tech. That's how they view non white dudes right there and they continue to talk down to them they continue to disrespect them over and over again and no one says anything no one says anything at all yet here we are now with a diversity chief which what the hell is a diversity chief by the way what is a diversity chief a diversity chief is someone that views people specifically on their race and their gender and then defines them to see if they are or aren't black enough based on their things they eat and their interactions with people. This is how all of these left-wing lunatics view non-white dudes. They view them as pieces to a puzzle. They view them as social justice chess pieces. This is ridiculous. This is from geeksandgamers.com, by the way. Shout out to Lyndon Hall for making this happen. We're going to be covering a lot more stuff on the website like this, along with our typical reviews. We have our forums over there as well. We have a lot of good things in the works over on geeksandgamers.com, so make sure you check that out, bookmark that, and continue to visit us over there. Idris Elba's character isn't black enough, says BBC Diversity Chief. Um... Miranda Whalen claims that Idris Elba's character in the TV series Luther isn't black enough to be real because he doesn't have any black friends and doesn't eat Caribbean food. Yeah, th this is a real statement. Now, again, there will be people like me who simply say, hey, when you tokenize characters, when you use them for identity politics and social justice propaganda, you're not actually respecting those characters. And then you have the woke mob out there that accuse me of being an ister and ism because I actually think that black people and women and non-white dudes can actually accomplish things on their own. They don't need the great white left-wing savior to help them. I actually believe that they can do it themselves and they don't need the help of the far left-wing white people out there. I actually just respect them as human beings. And that's apparently ist and ism, according to the woke mob. Yet comments like this are completely understandable. Why? Because there's a diversity chief saying it. And if you just say the word diversity, if you just say the social justice talking points, the NPC culture out there will eat up whatever you have to say because that's what they're programmed to do. It's a clear understanding of how the game works. If you understand it, then you don't get frustrated by this you just continue to call it out for what it is because you know what these people are all about um she ended the statement by saying that uh this strong black male lead character doesn't feel authentic maybe a black english fictional character enjoys british food over caribbean maybe miranda should stop treating black characters as a monolith and allow their individual expressions to flourish throughout the show it's a great point Lyndon makes um, the BBC announced that it would uh, be committing to uh, $100 million for their commissioning budget over the next three years for diverse content. After appointing Miranda in February 2020, this was the first step in, the ground in a groundbreaking new diverse direction of BBC content viewers can expect in the future. Um, in true satirical fashion, uh, yes, Tatiana uh, McGrath tweeted, Thrilled to see someone finally calling out Idris Elba for not being black enough. Uh, quite frankly, with all my pioneering work for social justice, I'm far blacker than Idris Elba could ever hope to be. It appears we live in a society where black isn't black enough for black people. And that's where we are. Um, again, man, for anyone that's been paying attention to the entertainment industry for any significant amount of time, this does not shock anyone that's been paying attention because this is how these weirdos view non-white dudes. They view them as opportunities to virtue signal, to tell the world how great we are because we are for diversity. And diversity is simply just a, a word to protect them for what they really are while they project all of these uh, you know, accusations towards anyone else that dares to question them and hold them accountable for the nonsense that comes out of their mouth. 
absolutely disgusting, but that is where we are. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, check us out over on geeksandgamers.com. Our website is free to sign up. $10 a month to become a premium member. We have forums over there. That's available to anyone and everyone. Our forums are doing great. Ranking number one for CNN memes right now. Ranking number one for F the NBA. It's a beautiful thing, and we're continuing to grow, and that's only happening because of all of you, and we appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.